But first of all, the warm up. See how he has his notes on the side here? He says, do the minimum amount of warm up required to go to maximal effort on your working set without getting injured. Warm up with the compound lifts from the workout day to make the warm up efficient. So I agree 100% with the red part, which is that whatever compound lifts you're gonna do, those are what you're gonna warm up with. But do the minimum required warm up. I think that most people need more warm up than they actually do, and that they are not distinguishing so much between the warm up and the actual working sets because in their mind they're going up and up in weight, and they start counting the sets that should probably be considered warm ups as actual working sets. And most people have actual actually less working sets at the end of the workout than they actually thought because I would still consider a lot of the working sets warm-up sets. Uh, but I noticed as I get older, I gotta warm up more. I need a lot more warm-up. When I was younger, I could warm up just a couple sets and I could hit a maximum lift. I could do supersets, drop sets, super high intensity, and I would have a lot of strength. And as I get older, I notice the more I warm up, the stronger I am. If I warm up for 20 minutes, I'm much stronger than if I warm up for 10 minutes. And I think most people who are lifting are making the mistake of not warming up enough and then not making that jump in intensity. So warm up and then, okay, now my warm up's done. Now I'm gonna lift super hard.